In this guide, I'll show you how to fix stick drift on controller in Apex Legends. So if you're experiencing stick drift where your character's moving or your aim's moving and you're not pressing the analog sticks, what I recommend you do is press and hold start on your controller and we're going to go to settings. Then you want to select controller at the top and you want to scroll down on this page until you see look dead zone. So by default, this is going to be on small and what I recommend you do is turn this feature up to large. What this is going to do is increase the amount you have to push on your analog stick in order for it to be recognized in game. Now this may help fix slight stick drift, but if you noticed it's still quite bad, what I recommend you do is we're gonna go back to settings, except this time we're gonna scroll down to the very bottom and go to advanced look controls. From here, you wanna turn this feature on, and now you'll see the actual dead zone setting where we can increase this value. So if you have a look to the right where the graph is, you'll see a blue line that's increasing or decreasing depending on if I'm increasing the dead zone or not. So what you want to do is try increasing this dead zone value. And what essentially happens is it'll increase the size of the inner range of your dead zone. So it's going to require more movement on your analog stick in order for it to be recognized in game. So try increasing that dead zone value until you no longer experience any stick drip in Apex Legends. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.